Hi, welcome to Lawton C. Johnson Summit Middle School. I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the changes that we're gonna see in the school this year. For one, everyone's going to be wearing a mask. Um, I'm gonna take my mask off just for clarity of the video, um, but I wanna talk a little bit about what our hallways are gonna look like. So as you can see, our hallways have been marked up. Um, they are gonna be two directional, but we are gonna have students walking single file, and we're going to have students staying as close to the wall as possible. We have a lot of signage indicating what the directions are and reminders for students to say, social distancing six feet apart. So this is an example of one of our science labs here in the middle school. And the science lab setup is very flexible. There's large tables where two students sit at. Um, often, and quite often, the tables are put together and we have four students that sit in a group facing each other. But for this school year, our setup is gonna look very different. Um, for this is an example of a setup where we have a number of students that can fit within this space and every other student would have a protective barrier around them so that they're protecting themselves as well as the student that they're sitting next to. Here's another classroom here at Lawton C. Johnson Summit Middle School. This particular classroom has very flexible furniture um, that allows for a lot of different flexible seating arrangements. For this school year, as you can see, we've done a more traditional row model of seating just to ensure for all students' safety. In an effort to ensure safety of all of our students in the building, we have designed a model where students on a particular team will have one entrance that they will use for arrival and dismissal. We've also designated a stairwell for each team so that they can navigate up and down the stairs within the building. The stairwell is located near the five classrooms that that team will utilize. Students will remain within their classroom for most of their classes and the teachers will be moving between those classrooms just to ensure that we have the least amount of movement in the building as possible to ensure the safest environment. I hope you enjoyed this video just highlighting some of the safety measures that we're taking. Uh, please look out for the school plan for more details.